Yo, welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to take a closer look at Sakura Kyoko from the anime series Madoka Magica. Now Sakura over here has like a pretty messed up background um, when she wanted to become a magical girl like messed up things happened which uh, led to what she is right now. She's like very energetic she has a fiery passion um yeah super like proactive and outgoing personality essentially and she does like to help out those that are close to her yeah anyways aside from that this is made by a good smile company so expecting very high quality figure anyways that is the box art and without further ado let's go ahead and unbox sakura all right here is what she looks like in the blister pack here's her base it looks obnoxiously large and here we have the figure herself and the metal peg that like supports her and her spear all right, assembly really isn't too complicated. First, let's put uh, the metal peg onto the base like so. Right now we're gonna stick Sakura's foot onto the metal peg. Make sure she's like firmly in place. Lastly, we'll take apart the spear and put it through both of her hands. Reassemble it. And there you go, Sakura fully assembled. All right, most important portion of the video, the close-ups. I really do like the face. The, uh, the faceplate that they used and the design is actually really cool. It like displays her essentially fiery personality, happy-go-lucky. Do like how animated that this figure looks. The base is kind of like unnecessarily large though. Do wish they put uh, like the peg somewhere else so they could have used a smaller base but it is what it is again with the detailing it's very very nice they use different shades of colors to give the figure depth they also um yeah nice detailing they also uh made this very very animated like with all the ruffles and the wrinkles and how her hair flows back and loops around towards her. Very, very nice. Here's a side view. Her spear looks like super cool too. Very simple, but pretty awesome. Yeah, see, simple but very, very detailed. You can see like the uh, gold shifting to a black paint it gives like a shadowy effect, which is really cool. All right, well guys, anyways, that is Sakura Kyoko by Good Smile Company. All right. As per usual, I'll go ahead and put the positives and negatives on my take of this figure. I do believe that Good Smile Company, just on the figure alone, has again made an exceptional figure. Um, the only complaint that I really have is that the base is kind of really, really large. <laughs> I do wish that they put the uh, like the peg, the support peg, somewhere else so it didn't have to be as big because like design wise it needs to be this big to keep her up anyways yeah other than that 
Good Smile Company has done like an exemplary job. Uh, if you guys do want to purchase this figure, I'll go ahead and leave links in the description to sites where you can currently get her for the cheapest. Yeah, just go uh, open up the description, click the links and you'll find her. Uh, yeah, and if you do want to support this channel and help our community grow, I'd really appreciate it if you shared this with friends, family, and social media. And leave a comment down below. I do love reading your guys' comments and inputs on these types of figures and videos. Anyways, if you liked this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.